I don't think you understand me. I'm not asking for permission. I'm asking you how to do it. I know the time does not stand still. Can't see the world when it's spinning, spinning. Try to pin me down. You don't have a clue. Wouldn't understand if I showed you, showed you. Stop or say. Good evening. Good evening, Raviri. Are you prepared to learn how to plant dreams? About as prepared as I could be, I suppose. Great. Um, where's Fabita? Won't he be joining us tonight? No. Fabita will not be joining us tonight. Father and I have arranged for him to be working with Fantasos for the evening. <laughs> Really, Phanasos? Uh, the personification of inanimate objects. Well, yes, I know all about him, but we needed someone to get Phobita out of our hair for the evening so we can focus on actually providing dreams to those in need. <sighs> Great. Totally doesn't ruin anything. <clears throat> ruin anything? Reviri. What? As much as I know we don't get along, if you're going to take anything that I say seriously, don't trust Phobeter. <laughs> and why not? Why should I trust you but not him, hmm? Phobita is only ever out for himself. He's not looking after you. <laughs> and you are. Yes. Of course. <sighs> Whatever. Uh, you know, I was talking to Fabita the other night. I'm just, <laughs> you know, curious. Uh, he had mentioned some sort of really cool event that happened. Uh, basically, he gave nightmares to a, a demigod of sorts, and he <laughs> caused him to burn down his entire cabin. Are we going to be doing anything cool like that tonight? No, of course not. Yeah, shouldn't have expected to. <sighs> Don't even get me started on that whole Son of Hades charade. Well, so you know about it. Of course I know about it. Phobita had the entirety of Camp Oasis all riled up. Oh, that oh. fool. Camp Oasis. Now that rings a bell. Well, it should. You used to go there all the time when you were younger. Yeah, I remember. And Son of Hades is at Camp Oasis? Yes. Why do you ask? Huh. Oh, no reason. I was just <laughs> curious, you know. A son of the god of the underworld or whatever is just chilling at Camp Oasis. I guess it is for demigods, so that makes sense. Um... You know, for, uh, for all good times' sake, uh, what do you say we had there tonight? Night? Yeah. During your training? Exactly. Doesn't it sound like fun? Reviri, I need you to take this seriously. <sighs> do you understand the importance of the people at Camp Oasis? They're demigods. You can't just be going around and planting random dreams and nightmares into their minds. Listen, I'm not talking about... important. I'm not talking about random dreams or random nightmares. I just, you know, 
you and I, when we were kids, we got into a lot of mischief. Or, well, I got into a lot of mischief, and you had to get me out of a lot of certain situations, and some oh, of those... Oh, I remember. I'm sure you do. And, and a lot of those took place at Camp Oasis, so I think it would just be cool, you know, if... You know, now that we're taking things seriously, like like you said, Big Brother, uh, we could we could visit, and uh, you know, I, I will be on my best behavior. I promise. Hmm. Fine. Really? Yes, but no messing around. <laughs> this is serious, Reverie. Oh yes, absolutely serious. Look at my face. Don't I don't I seem serious to you? Sure. <laughs> All right. Well, I suppose you know the way. So, ready to go whenever you are. All right. Follow me. Gladly. <laughs> well, here we are. Camp Oasis. Yeah, here we are indeed. It's a little strange to be back here. <laughs> and actually, uh, being allowed to be back here. Uh, so, <clears throat> you mentioned the son of Hades before. I, I sure guess did. we'll just start with him. Here's his office right here. Oh. <laughs> oh! Look how convenient that was. You know, Morpheus. I think that's the best idea you've had all night. Huh. Let's just get this over with. Oh, just, just slow down, slow down. Let's look around a little bit. Man's got some weird stuff in here. What is that? A Reverie. <laughs> We're not here to visit. What is We're this here thing? for training. Uh, yes, I, I know. I'm just... It's kind of weird, don't you think? Just walking into people's homes. Or, well, offices. Huh. No, it's not weird at all. What I do you mean? Know. It's, it's kind of weird. Would you just want someone entering your bedroom without permission to get into your head and plant dreams or nightmares? I guess dreams well, is not that bad. No, it's it's not like that. Whatever. All right. <sighs> yep, professionalism. I got it. Let's uh All right. Let's go. Let's head upstairs. Mhm. Mm Are you not at all concerned that he has a hospital in his house? I, I'll take that as a no. <clears throat> I mean, there's x-rays in every- okay, okay, I, I, I get it, I get it. Let's go, let's this go. chalkboard? Oh, okay, sorry. Um, oh, this is- this is kind of weird. This is- it's just sleeping here. <clears throat> well, yes, you need to be asleep to be able to dream, so- Yeah, yeah. It makes sense. You've, uh, you've got a point there. Um, all right. All right, Reviri. Oh, you want um, me to? Uh, got it. Um, <clears throat> so, what is it? I I just I I don't I've never done this before. Uh, you've never all the time you've spent in the dream realm, and you don't even know how to properly enter a dream. Well, you see, I just come here because I, I like the overworld. <laughs> it was more of a situation just to get out of the underworld. I, I never actually, you know, snuck into people's heads. That, that would be weird. Ugh. You've been hanging out with Phobia too much. It's a good thing I'm your teacher. What is that supposed to mean? Well, he's not the brightest. Um, okay, fair, whatever. Uh, we should close the door so he doesn't wake up. Um, <clears throat> all right, it's easy. Okay. Just imagine yourself as the son of Hades. See through his eyes. Eventually you learn to find their every thought, every want, every fear. <laughs> but, very uh, yeah. professional. Professionalism. Don't get any ideas. <laughs> Me, ideas, Morpheus. You know me I too told well. you how important this was. Yes, I, I'm listening. I, I get it. All right, so just imagine myself as the son of Hades. Though if I was the son of Hades, I'd probably still shave my legs. Anyways. <clears throat> All right. Just let his mind take you wherever it goes to. So you can experience what it's like. Okay. Um, 
so I, I don't, I'm not controlling anything yet. I'm just trying to visit his dream. That's right. Got it. Okay. Oh, <clears throat> okay. I am the son of Hades. Come on. Come here, face me. If it's a fight you want, it's a fight you're gonna get. But I'm not gonna make it easy on you. You have to win just like everyone else in this arena. And it's not gonna happen when- What are you doing? Hey, you gotta get out of here. What, I are, think... what are you doing? I'm about to fight this monster. It's a dangerous beast. <laughs> you know, when my brother said I was coming to visit the son of Hades, I expected something Be careful, different. Careful. You don't know what that thing is capable of. I don't take you down at any moment. It's not safe to be in here. I don't think you know what I'm capable of. Anyways, um... Wait, where did... Where did the Goliath go? Oh, right. I almost forgot. You don't know. This is a dream. It's not real. What? Okay. Sure. Do you not believe me? Do I have any reason to believe you right now? You're interrupting a fight. Well, um, do you want it to carry on? No, it's fine. What do you want? Anyways, um, <clears throat> I'm here because you are the son of Hades, correct? Right. Okay. Uh, you have made uh, trips out of the underworld, correct? Yes, I certainly have, but how do you know about that? Uh, my brother told me. Long story. Anyways, uh, I need to know how to do that. It's important. I can't just tell you how to get out the underworld. Yes, you can. And you will. Right now, preferably. I mean, there's ways, but... One, you know, there's a giant portal that I've shut down, so no, you can't just walk through a portal. It's not that easy. Um, we can certainly get you to another layer of the underworld if you'd like to. There's probably some room in Tartarus if you'd like to go there. No, I, I'm trying to get out of the underworld. I want to go to the overworld, and, and you're going to tell me how to do it. I mean, I'm not the only person that you necessarily need to ask. What is that supposed to mean? Well, sure, I can do it as much as I want, but it doesn't mean everyone else can. And plus, there's ways that you just get in and out of the underworld normally. I don't think you understand me. I'm not asking for permission. I'm asking you how to do it. Just like everyone else does, I suppose? And Obviously. that is how? Cross the river Styx? The river Styx. How'd you get in here in the first place if you don't know about the river Styx? Um, like I said, this is a dream. This isn't real. We're not, well, I guess we're technically in the underworld. It's complicated, okay? So, wait, the river sticks. I've yeah. heard about it before, but isn't there, like, a guard or something? Well, traditionally, it's guarded by the Great Cerberus, but at the moment, a bit out of commission, so you don't have to worry about that, at least. Nice. Three-headed dog, you'd, uh, you'd like him. Anyway, then there's just the ferryman. Ferryman. Yeah. Karen. He's a good guy. <clears throat> I'm sorry, did you say Karen? Yeah. You don't know about Karen? Uh, no, I, I've heard of the ferryman. But, but K Karen? Like, mm -hmm. like a soccer mom, Karen? No, like the ferryman of the dead? The one who brings the souls of the dead Cross right, yeah, yeah. The I just, river sticks into the I, fields of Esma. I didn't know his name was Karen. Okay, that's a, it's a strange name. Anyways, he's just going to let me across. It's just as easy as that. Probably not. No, no, it's not as easy as that. Why are you laughing? It's generally for most people a one-way trip. I mean, he goes back and forth all the time, sure, but okay. He generally drags people off, and anyone who falls off the boat gets lost in the in the river, and their soul is kind of stuck there for all eternity. Oh, well, definitely don't want that. How do I get him to take me across? 
ask very nicely. I'm sure he'll he'll definitely listen. You know, especially if you come come up to him with all the all the bright attitudes you have with me. What is that supposed to mean? Coming off a little strong, I suppose. You would too if you were in my position. All right. What kind of position is that? Don't worry about it. Now, if you want to carry uh, on with your fight, I guess I have a ferryman. What kind of position are we talking about here? <sighs> if you actually plan on getting out of the underworld, I should know about it. Right. The whole son of Hades thing. Yeah. Well, let's just say I've grown up in the underworld. Kind of sick and tired of it. Just want to get out. Not like dead or anything, and just parents. You're not dead? No. Hmm. Are you? No. But I guess let him know that. That'll certainly help out your case. He has ways of proving one way or another. Good you got anything know. to bribe him? I mean, I've heard that's worked before. Bribery. Interesting. I'll yep. see what I can do. If you do end up getting out, um, what are you going to do? I... Got a place to go? I haven't thought that far ahead, but I'm resourceful. I'll figure it out. Look, if, if you do end up getting out, I'd... you're kind of partially my responsibility. Look, there's a camp, all right? It's full of people, some from this place or wherever we are, some... People that are different. People that know about all this stuff. You'd fit in better there than anywhere else, trust me. Also, you know, if you have any other questions, I'd be there. You're not talking about Camp Oasis, are you? Yeah. You heard about it? Yeah. Let's just say uh, I visited a couple of times when I was a kid. Um... I'll consider your offer. Um, thank you for the information. I greatly appreciate it. Oh, and uh, if you want to go back to your fight, um, just remember this uh, is a dream, so it's it's not gonna wait get you. Gary? Gary, you got so big. Uh, hey, Raviri, what was that? Oh. Uh... You were totally listening in, weren't you? Of course I was. Hmm. <laughs> I should have known you didn't have it in you to take this seriously. Oh, I'm taking it seriously, all right. But I'm taking my uh, own personal motive seriously. I think that was pretty obvious. Um, personal motive? Did Phobeter plant this in your head? No. Okay, so maybe it was his idea, but I... Look... I don't like the underworld. Uh, y you have to understand that. Yes, but you can't just go around making plans like this. Well, I, I did and I succeeded, so I don't personally see the issue. And plus, if it works, then uh, I'll be out of your hair forever. Isn't that what you want? It would be nice, but no. I mean, you're crazy if you think the ferryman will actually let you across. Hmm. I'm sure Phobeter made it seem like it's a lot easier than it actually is. Well, I mean, it was kind of confirmed by the son of Hades himself, don't you think? I mean, it'll work, I just need to bribe him, and you know how convincing I can be. I mean, he practically dragged me here exactly where I wanted to go. <laughs> but is the dream realm just not enough for you? You'll never last in the overworld. No. Oh. They won't accept you here. We'll see about that. I'm not asking to be accepted. I've dealt with not being accepted my entire life. I mean, look where we are right now. Reveri, I'm done with this. This is a ridiculous fantasy of yours. Well, Go home. Well, gladly. And that fantasy is about to become a reality, big brother. Enjoy the rest of your night planting dreams or whatever it is that you do. I'm going to enjoy my time in the overworld. 